Good morning, this is Mr. Wallace. I'd like to welcome you to my online class. And the first step in this process is to log into your Campus Blackboard account using your personal login and your password. Of course, if you're listening to this, you probably have already logged in. And uh, so let's go on to the second step. Next, once you're into your KCTCS Blackboard account, pick out the class you want to be watching. Uh, and uh, in this case, it'd be one of my classes. So select the course you'd like to work on. Then, uh, for my class, all the assignments uh, that, that you're going to be doing in the class, if you click over here on the left, it says assignments here are all class assignments. Well, uh, every one of them are right here in this little uh, list of things. And of course, uh, we'd like you to work them from the top down. And uh, you don't ever have to go into Connect, which is the publisher's uh, online learning platform if you don't want to but I think that you'll find it beneficial if you do. So when you click on any of these assignments for the first time, uh, here's what you're gonna do. Once you've clicked on any one of these assignments, uh, and again, this is a sample assignment, then uh, you can select the, uh, again, select this uh, McGraw-Hill assignment that you'd like to work on, and then it's gonna bring you to a screen, and this is a one-time only registration that you'll have to do. So if you don't have an account, uh, you want to make sure that this registration information is the right for the class that you want to be registered into. Click on register now and then go to the next step which would be to create an account if you don't have an account and you fill out all this information and then you will click the button that says complete my registration and on the next step you'll uh, see a thing that says that uh, you are now registered. I'm not sure if it's going to show you something that says free trial but basically the way the course uh, is linked and the way connect links into blackboard uh, those fees should already be taken care of and now you can just click on go to my course and when you go to my course you're going to go into this which would be one of my classes this is a sample class it not, is not necessarily the class i got up here but i do want basically all my classes work pretty much the same uh, you will see assignments with names over here on the left and then their due dates and then the status of them means whether or not they're available uh, and uh, whether or not they are still you can still work them or not over here you get how many attempts you get for each assignment if you click on the little information that little eye uh, icon and click on that that will tell you what exactly what that assignments all about for example it will say how many questions how many points it's worth it'll say um, uh, what maybe what the name of it is so forth and so on and then if you see an assignment that has alarm clock by it that means it's a timed assignment and most all of my assignments work this way all my homework assignments you get unlimited attempts and I only record the highest score and then on my quizzes and tests uh, some of those are like that and then my exams are going to be uh, you can have a practice exam that you will work as many times as you'd like and then the real exam will be below it and you only get one attempt at it and it'll be timed and let's see what else here uh, for almost every assignment uh, in accounting I can't say that for my other classes but for an accounting there'll be a video uh, and these little worlds uh, indicate that these are videos and they're on YouTube and for my homework assignments you can watch a YouTube video that's very similar to what you're going to see as the actual required homework problem and then once you've done watch the video then you can do your uh, live homework assignment again unlimited attempts so let's see what it says down here you're now at my course yes this is where you can access your assignments and study resources okay so like I said I highly recommend that you try to go to this spot to access your assignments and so forth so on and you go up here to performance and you can uh, kind of see where you stand in the class and, and tell you how many uh, uh, assignments you've done, how long you've spent on them. It'll tell you what your high score was and so on and so forth. Uh, over here, it's got some information about my uh, office hours, my office number, uh, my email address. Uh, there's access to the ebook. There's the syllabus. If you need to look at the syllabus, it's right over here on the right. And there's a lot of information on this page. So let's go on to the next thing. Uh, anytime you want to get back to Blackboard, there'll be a little hovering uh, 
little thing that looks like this, a little yellow return to Blackboard. You can click on that. So once you finish your assignment, you can quickly return to your Blackboard course by clicking the Return to Blackboard link, which I just showed you. Uh, what else? Uh, now remember, this is a sample. Uh, this is a sample of what these things look like. Uh, the real live assignments may be a little different, so forth and so on. So you just have to um, look at those uh, and notice that those are the real assignments, and this is just a sample. Okay, from this point forward, you'll access your Connect Assignments by clicking on the Assignments link in Blackboard, like you just showed you in the very beginning. Uh, they'll take you directly to the assignment you wish to complete in Connect. Uh, when you're finished uh, with the assignment, you should click Submit. That's right, remember to click Submit on all these Connect Assignments. And then click Return to Blackboard link so your grade transfers to Blackboard. Now, I'm not really going to keep track of anything going in Blackboard. I, at the end of the course, what I'll do is I'll go back into Connect and I'll download an Excel spreadsheet from Connect and that's what I'll use to figure your grades on. So you can kind of, if you want to look at this uh, Blackboard link, that's fine, but I'm not going to usually uh, pay much attention to it. And then once you've done all these things, you can log out from there and so on and so forth. And now, if you need help, if you need help with a technical question, you want to call 1-800-331-5094. You can also uh, click on this link and you can uh, either email or have a chat. These are the hours in which these people are open uh, for McGraw-Hill technical support. You can also contact me for any content support. Now, I can't help you with it if you have a technical question because that's strictly a Connect issue. But you can contact me at al.wallace at kctcs.edu or... If it's really urgent, you can call me at 270-996-9797, but don't call me before 9 a.m. or after 8 p.m. I think that covers it. I want to wish you good luck this semester, and I'll be seeing you on the Internet.